okay so today we're talking about oh god my phone is dying okay so i got demonetized okay how do i feel about it first of all you stay there okay i love you yeah that's my dog that uh, is the reason why i climbed here because this guy wants to be involved in everything i do so i decided to leave him down there and then i climbed over here the other reason is because i have the natural light from outside because i don't use the ring lights and i don't uh, uh I don't know how to edit videos so in that way i want something raw and then you know yeah so let's talk about oh let's talk about how i got on, on youtube in the first time then, how did i get on youtube youtube creates your account if you go on youtube to search stuff even when you are not creating when you're learning from youtube you get an account that you use to to search for whatever you're searching for so this is how i first got on youtube in 2011 Hello everyone, please stay with me, it's so quick. First of all, I'm not really a video creator, I don't know, but I had something to say and I decided to summarize it and I hope I get every line in the right words because, um, uh, first of all, I start with the journey. How I got monetized in less than 14 days, but got demonetized when I'm approaching 20,000 subscribers. Today, I have 20,000 subscribers and I'll explain how uh, I got monetized so quickly and how I lost everything, like uh, how it stopped so unexpected. First of all, in 2011, I, by default, got a YouTube account, but that doesn't mean I became a YouTuber in 2011. Uh, it all started last year. You can use this time to subscribe on my channel, please, and stay, okay? How I got monetized in less than 14 days and got demonetized when I'm hitting 20,000 subscribers. Yes, you heard me right. Yesterday, I was demonetized. Um, accused for reusing, uh, 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 using reused content. I don't know how to put that in English. First of all, you have to forgive me because I am not good at this and this is why I mostly uh, voice over my, my content, uh, whatever that it is. Sometimes I'm in a garden and I voice over because I just don't know how to do this. It turns out, it, it turns out also it's one of the things that uh, may get me in such a situation. Uh, I want to remind you that not everyone who got, who got demonetized because of real content actually done anything wrong. That's why there is an uh, option to appeal or to reapply because they know they also make mistakes. First of all, the uh, technology will detect a problem and then they will stop your ads on, on your content. And then you appeal and then a real person is the one who is coming to check your stuff to see if they made a mistake. And if they did make a mistake, they will now uh, send you a message apologizing for whatever they have done to you. Okay, so, but the reason why I'm not going to appeal is what this. First of all, when they, they um, accuse you for using reused contents, they don't say which content exactly you used. They just say uh, reused contents and then they stop ads. They don't, it's not like copyrights. Copyrights and reused content are two different things. So copyrights can get you demonetized. But easily, you can see when it's copyright because you get it gets scanned and then you see it's copyright, so you can delete it and you're still safe. But a real content, they never show you which one. You ask yourself, was it the last video I posted? And then you you can't know if it's the one because even if you will delete it, it never gets right. It never gets uh, um, right. It's not that you refresh it and all the sudden things will go right. Okay, so you will have to appeal. When you appeal, they will ask you to screen record what, how you edit your content, and then in, on the top of that, you have to submit that the link to that your content or where you, are, you you show that how you edit your content, and after that, they will decide well you passed or you didn't pass. Okay, so when you appeal and it doesn't work, they will now ban you for three months, not just one month. They will now increase it will be ninety days instead of one month. So I don't want to um to 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 bet on appealing again because final, first of all I do not know what I did wrong, and trust me, no one knows what they do wrong because they don't tell you which video is causing the problem and come on you can't be posting people's stuff from one to the last but there is a, there is a one thing i was able to learn i was able to learn that the way they detect a used content is by words that are said in the video okay because according to my knowledge of whatever i was reading the youtube is not able to watch uh, uh, and to to detect the same videos if there is no voice on that's why a lot of people will uh, post the same things but then they voice over the, someone's video some someone's content okay and then they take out those words because those words have been captured by whatever so when you use words and that is how they also run ads on your on your videos when i think i've already made a video about that when you um you 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 post <laughs> when you post a, a, a video, they run ads based on what you were saying in the video. That's why when you're talking about dating, they will be playing ads related to dating on your video because they actually, they, they, the technology that detects those words you are using. When you're talking about uh, or, or properties or investment or banking or whatever, they, they will just take those words. That's what, that is why also when you are not putting a voice on a video you are watching, you are able to read because they are auto, auto writing what the person is saying even when you can't hear. So how do they get those words? It's the same way they are able to detect if you use another content for another person because 
is that ability to capture those words has the ability to know that okay it's the same conversation the other one also was giving in their video so my problem comes from where if you watch very closely i have used i have been using um there's a comedy a comedy skit I don't know if that, but it's comedy. You can watch my shorts, then you, you understand what I'm talking about. And in some of the videos, you realize that um, we have these um, expressions or words that are said by a person who maybe have been laughing and, uh, and said something. Um, some, uh, the common one is the word, Murite. I don't know if you Murite, why are you running? Like this one is already said. So if another person was maybe posting the same video using that one that we all borrowing from different, different places, then maybe it ended the same or mine was short or whatever. And for the fact that the, the videos I use for my content are created, or, um, the story is acted by a content creator that most of you know here on, on this uh, this. Uh, this uh, YouTube channel, his name is Pressure King. You can go and check on him. So he's the one who helps me with the acting. Okay, I can do the story or I ask him if he can act for me the, such a story. And for me, I don't see that as using a reused content. We all don't have to first come and show our faces before we actually content creators. If you can be a director or something, you shouldn't be punished if you have people who are willing to act for you. We have people who create songs, but they are not the ones who sing them. We have those who sing people's uh, songs that they never even wrote. So yeah, it's 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 just normal. It's like a normal like expand, expanding your kind of way you work. For me, I'm a terrible comedian, but <laughs> I have the stories. And when I have someone who can act them and is willing to do this for me why not some people get paid for that just act this for me you know and then people like us who don't bring our faces on on here uh, it's highly that we get in trouble because we have to pre to prove that we are actually not robots we are real people so that could be the reason why i was uh, I, I ended in these programs and um Another thing is that um, you may ask me that why are you on, on, on YouTube? Like what happened? The, to be honest, when I, I, I looked into, uh, I had a phone which was uh, full up with a lot of videos I take because I traveled a lot. I've traveled in, in countries like Rwanda is my country. I've, I've been around Rwanda. I did two, two Rwanda. So I have a lot of videos of my country. I have a lot of videos of Germany, Sweden, Denmark, uh, France, um, uh, uh, Slovakia, um, where, uh, Poland, um, um, Belgium or Belgique uh, and also um, Holland or you can call it uh, the Netherlands so yes I have a, a lot of uh, even Italy I forgot a lot of countries then back in Africa Ghana I have a lot of videos from Ghana I have videos from Togo I have videos from from Burundi Kenya Tanzania Uganda so yeah there are so many things I, I had on my phone and because I pay I pay by year I have to maintain uh, two terabytes of, of my uh, of my google drive so i was like why can i not now start posting these videos and so then they get off my phone but then in the, in the right way because i like to advise people about traveling there are people who travel in the wrong way and then they end up in trouble and there are people who have made terrible mistakes with the kind of travel kind of way and then just did some things that they are not happy with made mistakes and now you travel illegally you get in another country and then you are stuck for 10 years or plus you don't even have documentation so i was like having a lot of ideas and for the fact that i had just spent the entire year doing nothing in German, like looking for possibility of continuing my education or um, finding a job. Because for me, when you talk about jobs, there are jobs I'm not going to do. I'm sorry. I, even at home, I'm not a good in the cleaning. I, these are things I learned when I, I, I came to German. Because all my life in, in Africa, I worked and I paid for a cleaner. I paid a person to work in the garden. I paid a person to cook. I, I ate from the, the, the restaurants. And I, I mean, I was, there are things I wasn't doing for myself. I knew that when I, ha I work and I have a good job, I don't have to learn certain things. I can afford a person to do it. Even if it's cleaning, if I have a good job in German, I can hire a person to clean twice a week. How much would that be? You know, twice a week, then we have a cleaning house. So there are people who come from Africa and this is what, when I moved here, I was like, what can I do with my life? I felt, I, for the first time, I felt as useless person on, on us. I hope I don't have also problems with what I'm saying because this, this one I will fight because I didn't do anything wrong. I also learned that also a uh, YouTuber has a way it detects some words that shouldn't be used on, on their youtube so uh, some words can even be the reason why you got demonetized okay so um, which i don't know that i was fined because of my title of my videos or, or what I, what was said in the video i don't know i just don't know but i for some reasons i really don't care because i was even planning to switch from shorts to um from shorts to uh longer videos because uh, the shorts actually hurt your channel because if you attract a lot of people who are coming to watch uh um the short stuff then you post a long video you can see i post a long video it's seen by eight people five people nothing more and they click and leave click and leave and they also hurt my video so i was planning to redo to make sure that i focus on the longer videos so that I, at least i attract the people who are interested in longer videos but in that case i will have to do it professional i have to learn how to edit i have to yeah i'll try i'll try my best because i have so much things to share so uh, when i was like feeling really as not like 
first of all, I don't know how to cook, which I'm not proud of. Now I've done a few, but that's not my mission. To be in the kitchen is not my mission. I can cook because when you have a family, you learn to do something for the family, which I appreciate. But there are, there are things that you shouldn't invest all your time in if you know that it's not going to pay the bills. So for me, I'm a woman who grew up in Africa, fighting left, right, straight, and making sure that at least I stay where I, I expect to get paid for my work. I never spent my whole years, uh, my whole past there are a lot of women uh, who spent all their, their lives trying to be the best for husband, best for, uh, 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 in my country we call it umutima urugo, which means uh, the heart for the, the house, you know, but then for me I grow up, I raised myself, I grow up uh, believing that even if I would marry or be in a relationship with a poor person, a person who don't, doesn't have money, I will contribute, I will work, even if I'm the one working and I'm providing, I did not see anything wrong about that and you can't have that kind of feeling thinking if you are a person who actually wants to to, to to only think about things you can do at home like cleaning cooking working in the garden and it ends there no even if i enjoy working in the garden i do it as like stretching myself or like as a hobby okay uh, even if it looks like a lot of work and then you, you question if this is a hobby but i'm a cyclist and i cycle and cycling is not easy and it's a hobby so if working in the garden is hard it's also nothing wrong to be a, a hobby so my point is that as I was trying, because I have a, a digital marketing specialist, um, I'm a digital marketing specialist, but who is outdated? Why am I outdated? In digital marketing, things grow every time. I did go to, I did uh, my education in 2020 during COVID when you guys were scared of dying here. I was busy with my course, online course, and then I got my certificate. But the same school that gave me a certificate even um, called me on my certificate. I'm a digital marketing specialist. When you are a specialist, you should not a lot, not be dragged back to school but they contacted me wanting to offer me a new update in digital marketing same thing but on a higher level like advanced level why because social media is like now i'm using iphone 15 pro max <laughs> but i've been using there is a time this one 11 was the, on the top today is 15 pro max that is on the top so in that case i'm trying to say that uh, uh, digital market things it keeps changing so for me i didn't want to disconnect with life on social media completely that's why i make sure my facebook will stay on purpose learning how to edit the stuff so yeah even if i was willing to learn to do things at work i wasn't happy first of all i was craving to have a job which i have today i was craving to stay like updated on social media because things are running too fast so i really wanted to make sure i use this platform uh, youtube to um to share my stuff, to, to actually grow and also be important, be useful to the community, share the experience, my traveling experience, life experience, because I have a lot of life experience to share with everyone. Some people, when they say when you die, people dig the dark side of you. When you succeed, people dig the dark side of you. There's nothing you ever find because everything I would have said it, because that's my purpose, to share my personal life, my personal experience and use it for the positive reasons. Okay, so the other thing was um, that I wanted to explain was that um, when I first uh, got on YouTube was in 2011, but mind me, you may have a channel since long time ago, but you didn't start becoming a YouTube uh, creator that time. So when you look at my channel, you may think I've been o o o on YouTube since 2011. Why am I only having 20,000 subscribers? The truth is that um, even you who is watching and is not a content creator, look at the way your account was created. From the day you went to search something on YouTube, that's when the account, uh, they say you joined YouTube on years ago yet you don't even have any video i'm talking to you so you are not a channel a creator but 20 years later when you become a creator then that day you will realize that it will still telling you that you joined long time ago maybe 2010 but it's not you are you actually you are just starting so that's what happens to me but my channel was taken as serious i became a creator last year i think uh, uh, in, in november in November, I was catching depression. I was catching depression. I was like, no, I have to put at least 14 days of my time into this and see how it works. I have to be active a little bit and polish a little bit of stuff and see how it works. Give it a time, like upload something, you know, and I did it. And in the last 14 days, I got monetized and I hit that hours and it was genuine. I ap applied and I was approved. But then I wasn't ready to share my stuff. And because creating content takes really forever. It takes a long time. Even now, I don't know, it's almost a 10. And I try to do this for how many hours? Trying, deleting, trying, deleting. And now I've decided I will give it to you raw. And if you don't like it, I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to tell you my story. And um, I know with a long video, I may not even get five viewers uh, or people who stay and watch. I don't know. Whatever it is, that's what it is. I'm just trying to explain the situation. So um, when I hit monetization in less than 14 days, I also learned from other YouTube creators. By the way, when you are into this, try and check on other people. If they're successful ones and uh, uh, small channels, go and check on them and learn their experience because you learn things that you never knew. I didn't know that when you get monetized today and you are not uploading anything for like uh, um, six months, they actually take it off. I didn't know they will cancel it so for me i decided that since i wasn't ready and i'm not a comedian or i'm not uh, ready to share things to finish your data without making sense let me uh, co co 
collaborate with my friend in Ghana, Prisha Kim, who is a good comedian, but then of course have separate s stories, then I can just tell him how I want the story, and then he, he goes and acts it, and then give me, you know, the videos to me, because a lot of you know, that some people purchase a video which is already done, like 150 euros, a lot of creators do, a lot of creators use cartoons, but it's done by another person, who is specialized in this, and then they pay the person, and then they get it, and they upload it, and this is not wrong, it's business, it's like the more you grow, the more you have a lot of responsibility, then you assign workers to take care of the, some of the duties, so that's nothing wrong about it, and YouTube doesn't punish you for that, but then for me, I had had a lot of things that also, when you are going to be a YouTuber, you should, uh, you are going to waste money in clothing, for me, I don't care, I can wear this and come and talk to, tomorrow I come back and talk to you with the same thing, tomorrow I'll even open my hair, that I don't care how I appear, the most important is what I say to you, and um, I worry so much because I don't know how to, 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 I mean, to keep lines together, I keep going back and forth, back and forth, because there's so much things in my, now you ask me another question, You've been uploading, you were approved, as we're running on, on your um this uh, as we're running on your channel. Why is it they didn't stop you? First of all, they stopped, they stopped uh, running ads on my channel. Why? Because I was holding a, a temporary resident permit which wasn't allowed in the system. Because before the YouTube allows you, because you are able to uh, verify your identity. If you verify your identity, verify your address, and also add the bank account. These three are very important. But for me, I had uh, my identity, <laughs> but wasn't approved. Why? Because they needed what ties me to Germany. And I was holding a temporary resident permit from Germany, and they didn't accept that, that kind of resident permit. Okay, so I had to wait until I got the resident permit they were, they, they were asking me for. And another thing you were asking me, why don't you use one that... Um, a Rwandan passport. I have a Rwandan passport, but for some reasons, YouTube told me that uh, the, my passport is from the country which is not a illegal. Uh, I'm sorry, my English is not, my English is terrible. So yeah, which is not allowed, you know. So I don't know why Rwanda is. We can't be YouTubers from Rwanda, and I checked all the YouTubers from Rwanda. They are all using address from U US, address from Canada, address from UK, address from uh, Tanzania, address from Kenya. Like I don't know. I haven't seen a YouTuber from Rwanda who is actually using Rwandan address. I don't know why. So in this case, I had to wait until I'm permitted. So they run ads back on my my um, my channel. Then they sent me the the pin which I verified my address here. Then they asked me to link my bank account which I did already. When I am done everything, I was done. Money was coming. So now it turns out. For me, I thought when ads are run on your uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube is making more money. And they, of course, they earn when you also earn. And I thought those kind of accounts are actually protected because now, because you are making them money, they should actually protect you. But that's when things actually get serious. Why they look at now, the, the, the money was coming, it's coming now. The previous day, they stopped me, they stopped me when I was having uh, in 180 something. And then uh, now they, they sense this where money was coming because for me, I don't know, my views were going high, high, high. My uh, subscribers, I could have like 100 subscribers a day, uh, 4,000 subscribers. Anyhow, like then I check the videos that are bringing these subscribers are long time videos. Okay. And then it was growing. Every time I refresh, there is something. I refresh, there is something. And I was like, what is going on? And the same, they are increasing. The same, the money was increasing. All of a sudden, I wake up. Oh, you're going to hit 20,000 subscribers. And by the way, you've lost monetization. And because you are using a reused content. The thing puzzled me. So I had to study why do they call them content? Uh, why do they call them real content? It's because of the all the voices, the tones that sound from other people. Most of comedians, most of comedians. Let me highlight this. The people who are using uh, videos, the gaming videos, the gaming videos, you will have this issue too. Because of that game you are uploading, even if it's you who played the game, you're going to have the same issue. Why? Because of that sound or those words said in there, because another person did it. It's not your voice. It's that voice from the game that is going to get you demon demonetized. And uh, people who are doing comedy, because of those sounds that we use, the sounds that every comedian has used, it's not that you download something for someone and you used it. It's because you used the same sounds, the same words, that comedian, whatever. Then, uh, like, there is this expression that I say I could have I could have a lot you know when I say a lot I can't say that word because that one I will also get punished for, for it so but in those comedy that we, we talk we post those expression with that kind of what is in there so if another person use the same it may be punished for the same thing so watch out your title what you are putting in your titles how uh, the thing uh, um, a week ago they, they uh, put a warning on my one of my video where they told me uh, that I had uh, uh, gone against their their policy uh, so uh, they told me I had gone against their policy. Um, this was when I I put a, um, a title of that video that um, direction mm, direction gone wrong. That I didn't do anything. It's just uh, it's just like the title I gave to. So I changed the title of that uh, video. And also I realized in the video there was uh, something um, the guy said. You say people who don't hear, people who don't speak, those names, how they are called in that same shot that I had posted. So you have to apply to um, 
appeal and then because you, you were first detected by the technology this time is a real person who's going to revise it so when they revised it they apologized to me saying that they had made a mistake i don't want to take chances again because i know they made a mistake but i'm not going to appeal now because i don't want them to find anything little and then they will tell me to wait for 90 days okay it's a lot of work and they will take it off when you don't post then they also after six months they will take it off so i don't want and also these things they take a lot of time it takes a lot of energy because it's not just a posting you're thinking about the people who are going to waste their data watching some things that are not worth it so you have to be prepared and that's why i apologize for this one i know it's not um it's not good and it's because i don't have time when i moved in this country and also started got that the new job i i agree time is money when i sit down here i'm calculating how much how many hours are this and how much would i have made at my job so yes time is money <laughs> Time is money and I am so sorry that I'm not able to edit this in a clear way but I hope you get the point so be careful and be worth watching my my journey how I get back and I want also to advise you if you are growing from the short try the longer videos as well attract the people who are interested in the longer video why because um the people who are interested in, in the shorts they are a lot they will just use a few seconds 30 seconds and they watch and then they keep enjoying enjoying subscribing and following but when you post the five minutes video or two minutes video they are not going to watch it and because it popped in their notification they are going to click and when it's long they are going to stop and the more they click and stop click and stop that is why my videos can't even hit 100 viewers why because my 20,000 subscribers are already interested in the shots and when they click and they find it's not a short one it's not really interesting they are not there for information so they will click out and that click out is what is hurting me or that's what is hurting you you know so yeah i wish you the best all of you and i don't know if i forgot anything i'll have to revise and see what i have to do uh, yesterday i did the same thing when i was walking my dog and after i realized that was too much of nonsense <laughs> and so i decided to sit here today and talk to you when i have time and wish you the best yes it's doing uh, this content it gets addictive especially for me I i'm now doing it not for the money for me if um because there are people who do this for a living they depend on this so when i have my job i do this i call it a hobby which actually ends and for me i like to see myself growing i want to see myself becoming from this doing this on my own and sitting here and talking sense to people you know because i have a lot of people i talk sense in their head but on the calls and all that but i want to speak to the world and i have to pave the way to that location to, to that destination okay i'm not a cook not a good one i've traveled countries i've lived lives i have so much to share i have uh, things that questions that you have that i can answer from my personal experience i can tell you about my country the country i live in countries i visited problems lives good expectations things developmental ideas things you can invest in things don't work you know i can i have a lot of uh, ideas okay so i never thought i would take this as serious but i feel like yeah i have to i have to take it as serious because there are so many people when i join tiktok and they are telling them lies 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 young people young people lies 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 do this just for the papers no 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 there are things you are not supposed to do for the papers i repeat you know uh, no just uh, uh, help me to get to europe and then uh, that's all i can go and survive no 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 there are so many things i'm coming to talk on this channel i'm going to take it as a more serious and also don't divorce because divorce is no divorce is okay and divorce sometimes it can be a mistake and divorces sometimes can be a, a healing a relief you know so i will be talking about a lot of things from my experience and you can disagree or agree with me thank you if you stayed with me and see you the other side